Dragon boat racing has become increasingly popular in Central Florida, even though it's been around for thousands of years. And the sport involves a human-powered watercraft, like you see here, where dozens of people paddle working together. And in Orlando, there's a team with a very special bond right there on the boat. They are called the Warriors on Water, and they're made up of breast cancer survivors. And this week, they'll be getting results on a different course. And we are so happy to have with us now Justine Doles, fundraiser chair of Warriors on Water, along with her teammate, Kimberly Ponder. So thank you so much thank for being you. here this thank morning. Thank you for having so us. Yeah, so first of all, tell us about, you were saying Warriors on Water, you were the only breast cancer yes. survivor team here, here in, in Central, Central Florida. Florida. So how did this come about? Well, the team is going on its 10th year anniversary, and I happen to be the team president this year, and which I'm very proud of and excited. Uh, the team started without a boat, and I am not one of the original members, and we are having our 10-year anniversary this year, so we're going to have a big celebration. Wonderful. Yeah, so we're bringing back a lot of the original members. And um, it started out um, way back when... Uh, the team started 10 years ago, but dragon boating been been around mm -hmm. a long time. And there was a doctor that found out that using your upper body and the repetitive motion of paddling helps lymphedema, reduce lymphedema. Wow. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. And there was a time when if you had lymphedema, exercise mm -hmm. and the two did not go hand in hand. Yeah. yeah, and that is a big problem. It is. It's a huge problem. But with the repetitive motion, like I said, and dragon boating, it, you, you are out there, you are in the fresh air, and you are moving and grooving and thriving. And you are forgetting that you have breast cancer. And you are just trying to keep up and paddle and do your best. I had a chance to cover you all a while back, and you were practicing on this lake just down the street from the station. How has this activity together helped you, you know, recover, get stronger? Oh, my and, gosh. Uh, just the, it's, the competition yes, itself. Yes. So yes. many ways. So many ways. I've been on the team for four years, and the camaraderie and the spirit, we all know what each other's going through. And mm -hmm. you know, we're all type A personalities. And when you go through breast cancer, you become strong and something happens to you. And you're almost kind of glad it happened in a sense, and I don't mean it in a negative way, mm -hmm. but it just brings out the better person in you. Mm -hmm. And you and the camaraderie on the team is amazing. And all the women that we, we paddle with are, are amazing. And what would you say to somebody maybe sitting at home watching this who maybe has just gotten a diagnosis or who is just in the beginning of that battle and needs some words of encouragement? Come out and find us. You can find us on Facebook, on Twitter. Um, just look up Warriors on Water. We are fantastic. We will talk to you until you can actually be a participant mm -hmm. um, because a lot of people, you can't do it until you're done with your treatment. Um, I'm a newbie. I've only been on the boat for a year, but it is amazing. I've been, as the girls call it, bitten by the dragon. Oh, I <laughs> and once you, you get in and you're bitten, you're, you're, you're in. Yeah. I never did a team sport, ever. So, and this is my first team sport, and I love it. And you learned about this from your oncologist. Yes, I actually did. Um, I go to Florida Hospital, and I see Dr. Iman, and mm -hmm. we, um, I actually found it in the office, there was a flyer from the girls laying in the office. I'm like, this is cool. And one of my schoolmates that I went to high school with mm -hmm. actually got diagnosed in February before me. Wow. And she found it online. So we were talking and she's like, oh, that sounds really cool. So we are both on the team now. And you guys have been able to travel because of this competition. Yeah, yeah. You guys just came back I miss from going just... to Italy. Oh. From Florence, Italy. There yeah. was 219 yes. teams represented. Wow. It was a sea of pink in yeah. Florence, let me tell you. It was amazing. What a thrill to be able to um, to race on the Arno River under oh the Ponte Vecchio. Oh, my oh goodness. Oh, my God. It and, was and beautiful. And the anticipation getting there. You know, we had to do a lot of fundraising because we are a 501c3 nonprofit. We don't have a big corporate sponsor. We love one, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. But we are, you know, we pay our dues, and we have maintenance on the boat, mm -hmm. and we have um, insurance to pay. So there are a lot of fees that we do have, um, but it got us to Italy. And yeah. we, we had a blast. It was amazing. And you have a fundraiser coming up. People mm -hmm. can get involved. We do. There. We have uh, Golf Like a Warrior. It's our sixth annual. It's our biggest fundraiser of the year. It's going to be at the West Orange Country Club 
on uh, April Friday, April 26th. That's this Friday. It yeah. is, mm -hmm. it is. We have room for a few more golfers, so we would love to have you come out and participate. Meet the girls, meet the team. We're going to have our boat there. We do have a show boat there. We'll have um, all our paddlers, and it's going to be it's going to be a lot of fun. Awesome. Well, thank well, you thank so you. much. You're Congratulations. Thank, thank you. you so much for having us. We really appreciate it. If you need to find us, we're at Warriors on Water at Yahoo.com. All right. And they're, they're hoping an Australia competition for next year. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we want to go to Australia. Yes. Yes. All right. oh, that would be great. <laughs>